Hi everyone, we are continuing our journey on what are we made of and we're going to talk about the body, specifically organ systems. So today we are bodybuilding or building a body. Um, we have started from atoms and molecules. We then discussed cells. And now we're moving from cells to tissues and organs. And we, our organs are going to build a whole system or a body. So atoms to a whole organs body system. So let's talk about organ systems. Organs are composed of different tissues that work together um, for a common function to bring wholeness to our body, to function as a whole body, and to work together and bring us life. So we're going to go system by system, and we're going to start with the integumentary system. Uh, the integumentary system consists of mostly of the skin, but it also contains hair, glands, and nails. Uh, its main function is to protect the body, but also uh, it regulates temperature and water control. There's a lot of things going on in the skin with sweat and heat, and uh, there's a lot of many, a lot of sensory, sensory receptors in our skin. So there's a lot of things going on with the integumentary system. The skeletal system, we are not just a meat sack. We have something that helps support our body. Um, and the skeletal system includes all of our bones, joints, and cartilage. Uh, it protects our organs and helps support the whole sack of meat is what uh, I like to call our body. It helps support our whole structure. But also one of my favorite parts of the, um, the skeletal system is that also helps produce blood, uh, our bone marrow. The muscular system. So the muscular system uh, consists of uh, several types of uh, muscles, uh, the skeletal, the smooth, and the cardiac muscles. Uh, it helps produce movement, uh, otherwise we wouldn't move uh, without muscles, uh, and helps maintain body temperature. Um, pro movement produces a lot of heat uh, and keeps us warm. The nervous system. The nervous system is broken down into two different types of systems. The central nervous system, which is the brain and spinal cord, and the peripheral nervous system, which are the nerves that branch off of the brain and spinal cord. Um, and the nervous system is a fast acting system. If it didn't act very fast, we wouldn't have a lot of messages that send um, signals down from our brain to like our hands and our feet to move um, and other types of things. Uh, it detects and processes uh, sensory information. Very fast acting control system. The endocrine system, uh, conversely, uh, is a slow acting control system. It consists of hormone glands, um, a whole list of glands, uh, pituitary, thyroid, thymus, adrenal, pancreas, testes, ovaries. Um, and it secretes uh, regulatory uh, hormones. Uh, so lots of hormones are secreted to help control um, our bodies and in a very slow acting way um 
So that is the endocrine system. The cardiovascular system. Uh, the cardiovascular system, of course, uh, consists of the heart, uh, the main organ, and um, all of the blood vessels uh, branching off of the heart. Uh, the cardiovascular system is a huge highway. Um, it, the main function is transportation, uh, to transport all of the oxygen and nutrients uh, to all of the rest of the tissues throughout the body, uh, and also really needs to help in equalizing temperature. Uh, one of the main nutrients that it helps transport other than oxygen is water and water um, carries with it um, a lot of temperature holding value and so um, it helps again in uh, temperature equalizing the cardiovascular system. The lymphatic system uh, as an immunologist, the lymphatic system happens to be my favorite. Um, it's one of the fun ones, uh, but also one of the ones that people are like, well, wh what does it really do? Uh, but the lymphatic system consists of lymph nodes, uh, like the thymus, the spleen, the lymph nodes, and all of the vessels that connect them. It returns a lot of the fluid to the body. It sucks fluid up and um, like helps to filter all of the fluid out of the body and then returns good fluid back to the body and defends um, against domestic and foreign invaders. Um, so thinking about viruses and bacteria, but also about dying and harmful um, cells of our own, like uh, cancer or old and dead damaged cells of our own cells. Uh, so that's what the lymphatic system is cleaning out. The respiratory system, we definitely need to breathe. If we remember, um, why do we breathe? One of the reasons we breathe is so that we can get oxygen to our cells so that our cells can then produce ATP. In what process was that, that our cells needed to produce ATP? Do you remember that word? It had kind of respiratory in it cellular respiration okay uh, hopefully you got that right um, so the respiratory system is consists of the lungs the trachea the nasal passage all of the things we need to bring oxygen in but also expel carbon dioxide after our cells are done with cellular respiration we expel carbon dioxide and some water as well. Um, it keeps uh, our blood supplied with oxygen, our respiratory system. Our digestive system uh, is such a hard worker. Uh, the digestive system consists of the GI tract, which has uh, the stomach, and we also have a liver and gallbladder, large intestine and a small intestine. Um, but then we have some other parts of the digestive system that aren't labeled um, the tongue and the teeth uh, as well, um, like accessories to the digestive system. We break down food and allow for nutrients to be absorbed in the blood so then our cells can use um, all of those calories uh, for energy. And we also, uh, part of our digestive system removes waste uh, from our food, uh, part of that liver. So hard worker, the digestive system. The urinary system is also another hard worker that um, doesn't get a lot of um, a lot of excitement but it should uh, 
It consists of the kidneys, the ureter, the bladder. It controls um, our water balance, and we definitely need water for life, uh, and it eliminates waste. So we definitely need to thank our urinary system every day for uh, controlling our water balance. So thank you, urinary system. And then finally, our reproductive system. Uh, for those that were born uh, as males, they have um, testes and an epididymis. Those that are born as females, uh, we talk about their ovaries and their uterus. Uh, both produce um, uh, growth hormones uh, that are uh, uh, feet, produce hormones that help them grow um, different types of reproductive organs. And uh, the reproductive system, uh, main reason for it is to produce offspring to help our species grow, um, to help our species survive. And that is a brief overview of all of the organ systems. We're not going to go too deeply into a lot of the organs. We're going to go um, a little bit into neuro and cardio uh, throughout the class. But it's, this class is not a full anatomy physiology class. Like some of you pre-nurses um, and maybe kinesiology students um, have taken. We were just doing a a quick what is our body made of um, so hopefully you had a brief overview of all of our systems um, what is in it and what each of them do and now you hopefully you have enjoyed our bodybuilding section